This is the lower looper thread tension dial. This is the upper looper thread tension dial. This is the right needle thread tension dial. And this one is the left needle thread tension dial. This thread guide is for the right needle thread. This one for the left needle thread. This is the thread take-up lever cover for both needle threads. This guide plate has a thread guide on the right for the right needle and one on the left for the left needle. This is the needle clamp. On the needle clamp, we have a guide for the right needle thread and one for the left needle thread. The last guide above the needles is for both needle threads. This is the right needle and this is the left one. This is the presser foot. On sergers, the presser foot is longer than regular sewing machines. Here is the presser foot lifter lever. On this machine, we push it down to lift the presser foot. The thread cutter is placed on the foot lifter lever as well. The lamp cover is here. This is the needle plate. This is the balance or flywheel. The power switch and socket are here as well. This is the differential feed control slide. This is the stitch length slide. This is the pressure control knob. This is the extendable thread guide pole with individual thread guides on it. On top of the machine, we have individual guides for each thread. This is the spool pin base. These are the spool pins and these are the removable cone holders. We can flip the cone holders upside down to accommodate larger spools of thread. The machine has a carrying grip here as well. This is the side cover. This is the front cover. The front cover opens by pulling it all the way to the right, then towards you. It snaps closed by moving it up again. When we open the front cover, we find a diagram explaining how to thread the machine. Here we have the upper looper and the lower looper. The instant roll or narrow hem device. This is the moving blade, the fixed blade, and the feed dogs. To disengage the movable blade, we can press the release lever located here all the way. Then rotate the blade all the way down. To re-engage the blade, press the lever in and rotate the blade up all the way and release the lever. Here we have the cutting width dial. The guides marked in yellow are for the upper looper. The ones colored in green are for the lower looper. There is a hidden guide for the lower looper. To expose it, we rotate the balance wheel until the lower looper is as far to the right as possible. Then we press down on this lever to expose this guide. Once we thread the guide and the lower looper, we push the lever back in place.